Hey there guys, it's Chris Curtis and in today's video we're going to be creating a header for our membership site. Uh, this is going to be a really exciting video because not only can you use this program to create headers, you can use it to create all sorts of graphical elements for your website. So this is going to be a very important video for you to watch. The program we're going to be using today is called the Logo Creator. Laughing Bird Software creates it. I'm going to include a link below this video so that you can go directly to their website and purchase the product. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. It's going to be really exciting, really pump you up hopefully because it's very easy to make graphic rich elements for your website. It's not difficult at all, especially when you're using a program like the Logo Creator. Let's okay, get started. Okay guys, here we are in the dashboard of our WordPress site and what we want to do is we want to go to appearance and scroll down to header and here we're going to get the dimensions of the header that we need to create so it needs to be 960 pixels wide by 250 pixels high the program that we're going to be using today is called the logo creator it's a program designed like I said by laughing bird software uh, I will include a link below the video so that you can go purchase this program and I think it really is going to be beneficial to you overall when it comes to creating graphic elements for your website. Uh, there are a ton of capabilities of this program. Uh, you know, for example, whenever you make a post, you need to have a featured image for that post. And this gives you the ability, instead of uploading generic featured images or whatever, to really brand your website and to really brand that particular post with its own image, which is going to go into Google that you can then cross-reference with that post. It's going to be a unique image out there on the internet, which is going to make it more relevant. You know, Google isn't just a text engine. It's an image engine. It's a video engine. So you need to have unique content on the internet if you want to really push your site up in the search engine rankings and having unique images as well as unique content, all that stuff together really works together with your SEO strategy. So, um, this software makes it really easy, guys, to format your canvas. We need it to be 960 pixels wide by 250 pixels high. And as easy as that, we now have a canvas template to work with that is exactly the size of the canvas template that we need. So no resizing, no cropping, anything like that. Uh, it's already done the way that it needs to be done. Now, I've just selected abstract shapes here, but in the menu that you get with your logo creator, you've got all of these different things that you can use. You've got backgrounds, you've got textures, you've got corporate elements that you can use. Uh, there are all sorts of different design elements that you can apply to each and every graphic image that you create. So uh, you can see here, I have the people pack. This is something that you can purchase in addition. Uh, to your logo creator and it just plugs right into it you know people elements are just very very good uh, you know people want to look at a face they want to look at something uh, you know that somebody else is experiencing it kind of adds a little social proof element without actual social proof uh, but it's just a great uh, a great element but on our logo we don't really want to use people so uh, we're just going to create a real simple logo with an abstract shape and you can see here that there are a ton that we can choose from and I just want it to be real simple I kinda like this right here it's blue uh, it's got a real pretty color to it and we'll just scale it down and see what it looks like um, I really like that it's simple and it's unique uh, that's something that I can apply but let's go ahead and, and look for something else we can just click on this and delete it very easily Go ahead and scroll through and see if we can't find a little bit better element to use. I really like this one. And the reason why is because it's MLM success daily. And this gives, you know, kind of a daily look to it. It's, you know, day one, day two, day three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's just kind of got that feel of something happening in a repetitive way. So uh, I really like this element, I really like it, and I think that's the one I'm gonna use for this particular logo. So I'm gonna size it down a little bit, move it over, 
And here I have a pre-selected slogan, but it was a little bit long, so we're gonna change it up a little bit. Learn how to succeed in your MLM business. Okay. All right, now this is gonna go below our, our actual logo. It's gonna be like a little tagline. And I really like the impact font on this. I do, however, want to change the color. So I'll click on the color menu. liking that so now we want MLM success daily let's go ahead and instead of putting the domain name we'll just put the title of the site okay now what I can do is I can also change the color of this text Let's go with the orange. Actually, you know what? I like black or a gray. Let's do a gray. Okay, that looks good. And what I want to do also is I want to resize this to where it matches up with the text below. Okay, so I can move this over a little bit. Get it to line up perfectly. Okay, and another thing that I want to do is I want to change this font. So it's very easy to do all this stuff. Look at how easy this is. Guys, in five minutes, we've created a professional header for our website. Literally five minutes, that's all it's taken us. So let's find the perfect font here and we're done. Go ahead and look in the selected fonts that are on my computer. You can use the default fonts for the program or all of the fonts that are on your computer as well, which is really cool. So you've got a lot to choose from. Let's try Terminator. That looks really cool. I really like that. You know, that has a really cool look to it, to me. Um, and people have varying opinions, obviously, uh, but I think that's a really neat looking little header element for our website. If we want to create an icon, we can use this little design element right here for our icon. But let's go ahead and export this and see what it looks like on the site. So we're gonna save it as a transparent PNG. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because if it's a transparent image, It'll overlay over any background. So we're gonna save this file as logo. We're gonna come back to our dashboard here. 